Hi, this is Chen Wen of Finale Inventory. In this video, I'm going to show you how our average product cost feature works. So in this demo, let's open up Finale. And in this demo, I'm, I, I've created a new product called Purple, Purple Polo Shirt. And right now, we don't have any in stock. So let's create a, a purchase order to receive the initial shipment in. So I create New Purchase. Let's I'm going to buy from company ABC here. Type in what I'm going to buy. And let's say this demo, I'm going to buy 10 polo shirts, and I can right now purchase it for $10.50. So I hit Mark Purchase com Committed to communicate the firm order. And let's say in this demo to, to make it fast, I'm receiving instantly receiving the shipment. So I hit Update Shipment to Match Order, and I receive the shipment. So now I basically receive, if I go my, back to my view stock, I should have... 10 purple shirts and the average cost, because this is the only shipment we have, is $10.50. But let's create another um, shipment from a PO and kind of see how the prices change. So let's say in this, we're going to buy from a different vendor, XYZ, and let's just say that, you know, the, he, the XYZ charges a different price and they charge actually $11 to $10.50. I'm still buying 10 shirts, so I hit Mark purchase committed. Let's go to my shipment and receive it in. So I hit update shipment to match order to say I'm receiving all 10 in and receive the shipment in. So if I go back to my view stock, I have 20 total shirts here. Let's see how my average cost has changed. And the reason why is because we had we bought 10 shirts for 1050 in the first shipment. In the second shipment, we had, it was 10 shirts for $11. So the average cost now for this purple polo shirt is ten seventy five. And you know, as you continue to add new shipments uh, from POs, for now I will dynamically calculate that average cost.